right, so I'm running pentatonic scale, major and minor, right? Why? Well, I wanted to show you something. Everybody knows the three frets down rule, right? When you're in a, you know, you always learn when you're in your first box, like of A minor. You go three frets down to F sharp. You can play F sharp minor pentatonic as your relative major throughout everywhere and get that, right? And then, but see, my like little narrow peanut brain only saw it as the first box being three frets down, right? What I didn't realize, I, I mean, I was going the long way around it, trying to memorize every single major pentatonic box, which helped me in the long run, but like I was doing it the hard way when I soon realized like, wait a minute, every single box is three frets apart. So whatever minor box you're playing, anywhere you're playing it, just play the same one three frets down and it works, right? So if you're up here in box five, right, it starts on 15, just go down to 12, play the same box. And it kind of works that way with a lot of licks too, right? It doesn't work with every single lick you play, but with a lot of licks, if you just play the same lick three frets down, you can get its major counterpart, right? So let's say like we're in box four, F A minor playing a lick up here like a you can go down three frets from 15 and 13 to 9 and 12 right same thing like if you're up here in the like BB box or the Albert King box doing one of those like Go down three frets to five and seven. Right, you can just get right into major to minor. Right, you can't play the licks identically because the root notes aren't going to be in the same spot, but you can go pretty much with every lick and play the same thing three frets down from your minor to your major, right? And with every major box, you can go up three frets with it, right? So if you hear an F sharp, you can go up three frets to your minor. If you're here in your second box of major, you can go up three frets to eight, play your same box minor. Same thing if you're, uh, here's your third box of major and then go up three frets from seven to 10, and that's your third box of minor. And same thing, here's your fourth box of major. Go up three frets from nine to 12, and play your fourth box minor. All right, all the shapes are always identical. They're always just gonna be three frets apart everywhere. Like it's not just the first box. So that can help you out when you're soloing, wherever you're playing a lick at, and you wanna get something major in it you can if you need to think real quick and you don't see it in the same area in the same little you know same little place you're in you can just always think three frets down you know so like it's just kind of a light bulb moment i had like a while back i was like wait a minute this works everywhere so just in case i don't know maybe i'm the, the moron that didn't see it but it works everywhere so pretty much everything is three frets apart between your major and minor not just your first box, and it's not just three frets down, it's three frets up, but three frets up from your major, right? I think that's easier for me to see it from three frets up from major to minor instead of three frets down from minor to major, but, you know, anyway, um, I don't know, maybe this will help somebody else, so just uh, experiment with that, and you'll see what I'm talking about, it's pretty cool, so just uh, practice slow, have fun.